Hi everyone. This video is going to be about perspective and how your perspective and how you perceive your life and the things around you ultimately affects your quality of life and how you feel about yourself. Essentially, your perception of the world around you is often a reflection of, of your mood and how you view yourself and your life. Well, the classic example is the idiom, glass half full or half empty. Generally, those that are optimistic will see it as half full in that there is still more, more water left in the glass. However, generally, those that are pessimistic will see it as half empty in that half of the water is already gone. So basically, optimistic people will see what is there, while pessimistic people will see the lack of what is there. What this all means is that the same exact principle applies with how you view your own life. Uh, do you view what you have in your life and expand upon what you already have to grow? Or do you view what you are lacking in your life and wish to have things you do not have? These are two ways of perceiving your life and your perception will determine your, your mood and everything else around you, including the people and events you attract into your life. If someone has a negative view of themselves, uh, the, their perception of other people, events, and anything else will be a reflection of how they feel about themselves, which in this case would be negative. As an example, let's take a flower. Person one has an optimistic view of the world around them and themselves. Person two is pessimistic and has a negative view of themselves and the world around them. The optimistic person uh, views the flower as a sign of life and beauty, yet the pessimistic person views it as a, a useless thing in the world that, that serves no purpose and will just eventually die like everything else. Both these uh, people's perception are a reflection of how they feel about themselves. The first person being positive and optimistic, while the second being negative and pessimistic. But the flower itself does not contain either of these properties since it's the per person that gave it such properties. It's all about that the person's perception of it that determines what it is to them. Their perception would never be what other people's are due to their unique experiences and views on life. Essentially, what this means, then, is that the world around us and the people in our lives are, in fact, how we view ourselves. If we view ourselves negatively, we will often have a negative view of the world around us. Likewise, this also brings to the topic of good versus bad. What is good? What is bad? This too is completely subjective since it depends on the person and their own view and experiences. One person may view a particular action as good, and yet another could view it as bad. The action in itself is neither one of these since good and bad are concepts. Uh, this means that life and how everyone views the world is subjective. Ultimately, what it comes down to is how you can positive, positively improve your life and be more optimistic. When you are pessimistic and see things negatively, changing your own perspective is not as easy as seeing other, other, the other side of things and listening to another person's view that is optimistic. While these are important to broaden your own perspective, they cannot change anything if you are not willing to start changing your own life or have been uh, seeing what you lack in your life for a long period of time where it has become conditioned. And this is where it all starts. It goes back to the questions. Do you view what you have in your life and expand upon what you already have to grow? Or do you view what you are lacking in your life and wish to have things you do not have? Not only do optimistic people tend to be more successful, but they are also often goal-oriented and can get more done because of how they perceive their world and their life. So then, in order to actually start seeing what you have in your life instead of what you don't have, you need to start practicing being more optimistic. Optimism is as simple as seeing one positive thing in your life or in your, or your surroundings and building upon that. 
So think about your life as it is now. How do you how do you view your life? Uh, the people around you, your your living situation, the events you have gone through, and ultimately yourself. Do you think there is any hope for you, or are you hopeless? If you feel your life is hopeless and you do not have a, any a successful future, or are trying to to wish for one, then what if I told you that by watching this video right now is a sign that there is a part of you that is optimistic and hopeful. Uh, learn about this side of yourself and reconnect with who you really are, as in your goals, dreams, what you want to accomplish in, in, the, in the future. The reason why this takes time is because when you are in a negative, pessimistic space for so long, it is conditioned within you to only see the negative. But there cannot exist negative without positive. And the moment you realize this and start to help yourself is when you will begin to manifest positive change. And watching this video may be the first step for you. Regardless, you are here for any number of reasons, and it very well could be to learn to help yourself. Then begin to, to practice of reflecting on your own life and start to see a few things in a different light. If you are focused on what you are missing from your life, ask yourself why you want those things uh, you are missing and why you are focused on them. Uh, the problem is not that, that you are lacking these things, but rather you have shifted your focus to only seeing the lack of them in your life. Uh, start to reflect on the positive experience you have been through. See the progress you have made. And most importantly, see how you have helped yourself overcome some of those negative thought patterns in the past. While you may still have them, again, there is, there is a reason why you are here watching this video. If you didn't want to help yourself, you wouldn't be here. So begin to, to see your life as not strictly negative, but rather subjective in that it's what you make it. If you think it's negative, then it'll be negative because that is what your focus is on. If you think it's positive, then it'll be positive. This doesn't happen overnight. So if you start to think positively and don't see your life changing and get frustrated, then you are still holding those negative attachments. Uh, true positivity comes from a place of self-love and wanting to help yourself. So think about your life, what you have in your life, and how you can accomplish what you want versus seeing what you do not have and chasing after what you are missing, which you simply will not be able to catch. One of the most difficult things can be uh, to see the positive of the negative. The negativity in your life is not meant to be blocked out or ignored. And in the purpose of this video, it's not meant to be obsessed over to the point of it consuming you. Rather, it's to learn and grow from. I did a video in much greater detail about the positive of negative, so I'll have an annotation and a link in the description. That video will help you align your perspective to be in a more positive space and see uh, even the most negative events you have encountered in your life as positive ones, full of personal growth and life lessons. That is the true purpose of negativity. Regardless of your, your current life situations, there is always hope. When you think there is no hope, this is an opportunity for you to get to the root as to why you feel this way and grow to be an even stronger person. It takes time, so do not expect things to happen immediately. But the moment you can see progress, even the most minor progress and build upon that, is what will help you learn to be more optimistic and begin to align your life with your true goals and what you truly wish to accomplish. So, uh, I hope this video was informative and helpful. Thanks for watching.